This episode of Tutcast is brought to you by LearnPhotoshopNow.com. Hey there, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from Tutcast.com. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a very simple panorama image using a bunch of photos that you've taken, just like the one you see in front of you. Now, I took this photo using four photos that I took the other day. One, two, three and four and as you can tell they start from the left and they go to the right now depending on the camera that you have some cameras have a panorama mode which will help you take photos and align them correctly but we still have to bring them into Photoshop to make sure they're aligned and blended properly so here we are in Photoshop I've opened all of my photos and put them into one document as you can see one two three and four they're all on top of each other now you want to make sure they are on top of each other and they are all selected. So selecting one of the layers, we're going to hold down shift and select the last layer right here. So we see layer 0, 1, 2, and 3. Now if the last layer is the background layer, double click on it and press OK to make it its own layer. So we should only have our photo selected, nothing else. With that said, we're going to go to edit and then click on auto align layers. Now we're going to keep it at auto for now. The other ones we're going to discuss maybe in a future tutorial. And if you're on Photoshop CS4, make sure to select geometric distortion. If you're on CS3 or below, I don't believe that option is available. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. And as you will see, it's going to start auto aligning the layers as best as it can. But you will see it's not perfect. As you can see here, it doesn't line up correctly that well. But we're going to fix that using blending. So make sure the layers are selected once again. Go to Edit, Auto Blend Layers. Make sure Panorama is checked and Seamless Tones and Colors is checked as well and click OK. And here we go. It's going to blend all our layers together. And depending on the size of your photos, it may take a few minutes. And as you can see, it very nicely and effectively and accurately blended our layers together, giving us a very nice panorama but you will notice that we have this transparent area over here very simply we're gonna grab our rulers drag them down to the areas that are not transparent on all four sides and very simply crop that out we're gonna go ahead and crop this out just here drag across all the way to the other side and crop out the areas that we want to keep and there we go we're left with a very nice panorama it looks really nice, very seamless. I think it did a pretty good job. So there you go. Try it out yourself. Hopefully you have a camera that will help you take panorama images. Give it a shot. Hope you learned something from this tutorial. And until next time, this is Howard from Tutcast.com. Take care.